हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अशोक मिदान फॉर्मेशनल टेक्नोलॉजीज हेडिंग दी इंजीनियरिंग एंड आर एंड डी सर्विस डिविजन लर्निंग एंड डेवलपमेंट फंक्शन माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज टू टेक केयर ऑफ लर्निंग रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द कम्प्लीट फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉज ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग एंड आर एंड डी डिवीजन ऑफिशियल टेक्नोलॉजीज आई थिंक इन दी लर्निंग एंड डेवलपमेंट इन लास्ट टू ईयर्स द थिंग्स हैव चेंज वेरी ड्रामेटिकली द फर्स्ट थिंग विच चेंज इज द मोड ऑफ लर्निंग i think the previously we used to do all learning in a very uh, in person physical uh, classroom manner which dramatically changed when uh, covid struck us and we was all sitting at home and we moved to the digital learning platforms now the biggest challenge in that was convincing the uh, audience that uh, this uh, digital learning can be as effective as the actual learning which was used to be done in the classroom environment before that it was very very difficult to convince people and everyone used to say yeah digital learning is good but i would still prefer to have a classroom learning but i think in this scenario there was no option uh, that of the one uh, advantage second advantage was that people are having plenty of time because a lot of time was being saved by you know uh, avoiding the transport you are sitting at home now with that uh, people started getting into that learning mode uh using that extra time for learning and in parallel the content availability from various learning platforms uh like the skills art udemy coursera and there so many other uh, platforms improved dim- dramatically and that really helped people learn and i think the personalization of that learning and the convenience of the learning timing available using that platform people can learn any time anywhere using any device i think that really helped people get convinced about the learning quality and the content and as the people went through it they realized that effectiveness is also uh equal or maybe slightly below but it is it is not really bad so that really helped to resolve that challenge of convincing the audience about the effectiveness of the learning but this this led to another challenge immediately after this uh, slow down was over and there was a huge demand in the market there was plenty of business but there was a shortage of resources so what happened people started changing jobs and that led to that great attrition there is great resignation so everyone was trying to know resign and get into a new job they were getting double the salary and there was a huge demand and supply issue now how is it linked to learning and development so what what triggered that is that some of these people in the management thought that probably because these people learn new technologies they are able to get better jobs so is it that learning leading to this great resignation we we did some study on that in our organization and we tried to analyze the reasons and actually what we find found out was exactly opposite the people with whom with we engaged well and make them learn new technologies and make them train in fact the attrition level on those cohorts was far lower than the resignations or the attrition level of the people who did not go through the learning i think having that mindset that this additional learning is leading to resignation was proven wrong you had that data and the perception was rather proven wrong now why is that i think when we analyze we found out that when we actually train people when we you know engage them into learning you are actually telling them that i i really want to invest in you and people engagement with those people is much higher whereas people who are not getting into that parlance and they are not get learning that engagement levels are lower so they are actually uh, resigning and looking for greener pastures but where are people whom we are investing their with engagement level is higher and resignations are lower i think that that is that is the you know biggest impact of that now and the last point which i want to cover now i think we have reached a stage where the digital mode of learning or a hybrid mode of learning is accepted as a norm people are convinced that this is the good thing to do but i think there is still an iota of doubt and not only doubt i think is a reality that it is exactly not as effective as the real in person classroom training using a trainer so if you ask me what is my wish list what do i want to 
change in the training parlance i think the answer is coming from the metaverse if we can create that kind of scenario where the training is actually happening in a virtual environment using the metaverse technology but the the learner still feels the trainer is there in front of him or her and they can actually interact with that trainer i think that is the real outcome and i i really feel that those days are not uh, far away probably uh, maybe in next 3 to 5 years i think we should be in that stage i think the with that speed at which the technology is changing i think this is really really possible and with that if that happens this will totally change the learning paradigm thank you so much